this week's video. So if you guys didn't notice, I am in a little new setup. Um, I rearranged my room about like a week ago and can I just say I'm absolutely loving it. I've been living in this apartment for about two and a half years now and I haven't done like anything like different to my room so I'm incredibly proud of it. Um, let me got, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below but I definitely like it because it's more like light coming in for filling and everything so that's just an added bonus. So I also I apologize for this video being a little bit late. Last week I was on vacation in West Virginia and and there was literally no possible way of me uploading this video or anything of that sort. So it's just going to be a tad bit late. I hope you guys are okay with that. But as the, you can see from the title down below, was it up there? I, I still don't know anymore. Um, it is going to be a Pinterest, Pinterest and Spish a Pinterest inspiration room decor DIY video and I have not done anything like this in any of my videos. I usually do DIYs like room decor like based on the seasons and everything but I decided to switch it up a little bit. Um, I hope you guys enjoy this. If you do, give it a big thumbs up. And also, if you're not subscribed to our Bell Babies family, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below in the description. Or if you're not on your mobile device, you can hit it right here on this screen. And if you recreate any of these DIYs, I would love to see it on my social media. You can send it to my Instagram or Twitter, which is both at May96Bell. And I think that is all that I have to say. So without further ado, let's get straight onto this video. So the first DIY is gonna be this I Do Not Care pillow, and I am a big fan of this. It's so cute. So the first thing you wanna do is you're gonna just look up I Do Not Care uh, Transparent PNG, whichever one you wanna call it, on Google. And I actually used a different one that I'm showing you right here, as you could see in my title. I actually did a chocolate sprinkle one instead because this one just didn't quite like turn out. It had like a little bit of like a bluish hint to it in the background, which I completely did not understand. So I went with a different one, but you it's still like the same concept. So then you're just gonna wanna center it on the paper and you're gonna want to like print like one on a regular sheet, not on your transparent sheet, just to make sure it's like sized and perfect and everything that it can fit your pillow that you're using. So then you're just going to want to use an iron and be careful with this because it gets really, really hot and I actually had to ask my mom to like show me how to do it because I completely forgot how to use an iron. So you're just going to want to follow the instructions on your transparent like sheet. Mine was very basic. It basically just said to like flip it over on your computer and just iron it. Um, mine actually like turned out like a little bit like blurry like it got like messed up a little bit when you're doing the iron so maybe like don't like move it like I'm showing here just like press it on each sheet so it doesn't like smear like mine smeared a little bit which is why I actually had to redo it which you will see in a little bit so then when you're done just take it out slowly and as you can see it did smear just a quite a bit so that is why I actually went in with a black sharpie and I just like touched it up a little bit um, I just made it like more bolder and more clearer so you could see and it was it so smeared so if that happens just go over with the black sharpie it turns out perfectly fine I promise you but I love this DIY I think it turned out so perfect and it's so cute especially for all the donut lovers out there like myself and I think it's just a really cute like throw pillow to throw on your bed or like a book chest or something like that so on to the second DIY so these are doilies, like containers, and I think they're so cute. So what you're gonna do is put two Mod Pods into the like bowl that you have, and I recommend like an Easter basket like I'm using. I just found this in my car, but, and I got these from the dollar store for $1 each. You can't get any better than that. I tried it with glue and it didn't work out as well, like the glue just separated and everything. So then you're just gonna put water, and you're gonna do this gradually so the Mod Pod doesn't just like take it away from like the water if that makes any sense and you're just going to fill it up for about a quarter to like halfway depending on what you want and you're just going to put your doily into the bowl all the way so everything gets covered with the mod pods and the water and then you're just going to leave it in there while you are getting your bowl obviously and you can use any type you want um you can use the shower cap Thing that I'm using or you can use like the serene wrap I didn't have any so I just used what I had in my house which was like a shower cap kitchen thing 
and then you're just gonna put your doily on top of it um, I think it turned out so cute and you're just gonna want to make sure you get like the excess Mod Podge water out of the doily and you're just gonna like press it down all the way so it's completely like on top of the bowl and there's no like air pockets or anything like that if that makes any sense you can just look on the video and I did the exact same thing for the pink doily um this one I think turned out a little bit like less secure so I would use a smaller bowl rather than a bigger one um but it's still, it still turned out super super cute um and that's basically it. You just do the exact same thing again. You just make sure that there's like no air pockets or anything like that. Um, make sure you put something over it because you do not want your doily to stick on the bowl. Um, I didn't have this problem because I made sure I put something. But trust me, I'm sure your mom or your dad will not be happy if there is a doily with Mod Podge stuck on one of their favorite bowls. So then you're going to want to take it off very very carefully so it doesn't like get off of its secureness from the bowl. Um, what my recommendation is just go in a circle and just pull it up like I did. Um, it is very much easier than just trying to like just grab it all at once. And there you go, there is my white doily and like I said, it's definitely secure. And I just did the exact same thing for the pink one. This one was more difficult, surprisingly. I don't know if it was just because I used my Mod Podge for this one or if it was a bigger bowl. For whatever reason, it was more difficult to take this one off. So just be careful with it, just take your time, there's no rush for this. But it turned out so, so, so cute. And it, each of those doilies was a buck fifty from Michaels, so you honestly cannot get anything better than that and it makes your room look super super cute and it's a great way to just put your sunglasses or your watch and I just put like some hand sanitizers and like a compact mirror and everything like that and it's a great way to store things. So oh, this third DIY is these Christmas spring flower lights and I think they're so cute. I love how you can make like Christmas lights like walk for the spring and summertime. So you're going to cut a small circle with your X-Acto knife on the bottom of your cupcake holder and you're going to fold it in half in a hot dog and then in a hamburger if I'm correct on that. I haven't used those in like years. Then on like the little squiggly part, you're going to make like these kind of like hills almost is what I like. I'm thinking of when I was doing this and you might want to get your mom or your dad to help you because the exact knife is really sharp I did cut myself so yeah that was very fun then you are just going to put it on top of your like Christmas lights I put it like I turned it very carefully because my hole was a little bit too small for just the Christmas lights so you're just gonna put it with like the light bulb and the part where it meets the wire um, connects and you're gonna like pinch it and stitch it in so it kind of looks like a flower petal almost that's what I did and it turned out super cute So the last DIY is this elephant garland, which I have seen all over Pinterest. The first step you're going to do is just go into Google on um, the internet and type in elephant stencil and you're going to try and find the less complicated stencil that you can find because this is the most time consuming thing in the entire nation, I promise you guys. Um, but I think the result of this is completely and worth it. It's so, so cute and it just like brightens up your room. Um, like the do the I do not care pillow, you're just gonna copy and paste it on a word document. And like with the other one, I do recommend just printing like a sample one again and putting it like over your scrapbook paper to make sure it's like centered or you need to make the size bigger or smaller or something like that. It's really like worth it, let me tell you. Um so after you are done with your word document, like I I'm doing again. You're going to cut the elephant stencil out and just be careful with this because it's, it takes a couple of minutes, maybe a little bit more. Then you're just going to choose some of your scrapbook paper that you want to use. I used about six on each strand, I believe. So um, 12, if 12 elephants in total, depending on how many strings you're going to use. Then you're going to use your stencil and just cut out the elephant. And this is the most time consuming thing out of all of this. Just be really careful and just try your best. It's really hard. And then when you're done, you're just going to hug glue the elephants in the middle of the strand and finally when you're all done you can just hang it up I hung it up where my Paris sign was and I just moved that to a different location in my room I think this was the perfect place for it right in the middle of my two doors to my closet so did you guys like it or did you guys love it <laughs>
I think these DIYs are probably like one of the cutest ones I've ever done like on my channel. I personally love the I Do Not Care pillow. I don't know about you guys, but I think it is so cute, especially for all my donut lovers out there. So if you guys did enjoy it, again, please give it a big thumbs up for me. And again, if you're not subscribed to our Bell Babies, Bell Babies family, make sure you hit the subscription down below or again on the screen because it will mean the absolute, absolute world to me. And you guys will not want to miss what is coming up in the future. And I think that is all I have to say. I love you guys to the moon and back, and I will see you in next week's video. Bye, guys.